everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now I want you to raise your hand if you know the difference between slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers. I feel like I'm asking you if you've been personally victimized by Regina George. <laughs> well, in today's video, I'm gonna explain what each type of muscle fiber is, why it's important, and how you can train it. Let's start with some definitions. To keep it simple, you have two different types of muscle fibers, slow twitch or type one, and fast twitch or type two. Now, technically, there are also intermediate fibers, but honestly, the average person really doesn't need to worry about that. So we're gonna keep it simple. Slow twitch or type one muscle fibers are smaller, slower to produce tension, and more resistant resistant to fatigue. And these are important to train for your stability and your posture control. So a great example of using these in daily life is standing on a crowded subway car and when it hits a weird turn, not eating it. Is that just specific to my life? All right, let's talk about fast twitch. Fast twitch or type two muscle fibers are larger, faster to produce tension and fatigue more quickly. And these are gonna be important for movements that produce force or power. So think like sprinting. So now that we know the difference between the two, let's stand it on up and we'll break down how to actually train for them. Okay, so let's start with slow twitch. So slow twitch fibers are going to be in charge of more like the endurance part of your training. So thinking of things like running long distances, cycling, swimming, but we can also use strength training to train our slow twitch muscle fibers. Specifically thinking about higher rep, lower weight, less rest time, and long durations of work, or time under tension. You also wanna keep your movement patterns very slow and controlled. So let's break down a few options. So like I said, you can obviously do things like running or cycling or swimming long distances to work on your slow twitch muscle fibers, but it's also equally important to train them for strength as well. So I'm just gonna give you four really basic exercises you can do to train your slow twitch muscle fibers, keeping in mind all of these checkpoints over here. First one is a squat. Pick your squat of choice, but remember we wanna go higher reps, so you wanna take the weight down just a bit. We'll do a goblet squat here, weight in the center of the chest, feet under the shoulders, slight turn out in the toes, big inhale, lowering it down, and exhale up. So keeping that slow tempo in mind, I want you to think for down for four, three, two, one, up for four, three, two, and one. Going into the next exercise with either little to no rest, we've got a single arm bent over row. I'm actually not gonna use a support because that's gonna take some of the stability work out of it. If we remember what our slow twitch muscles do, they help with our stability. So I'm gonna balance a little bit more, coming up for four, three, two, one, down for four, three, two, and one. Making sure that as we row, we're not aiming for the armpit. We wanna think about swinging the weight back toward the hip. Again, taking little to no rest, I'm gonna jump right into a single leg deadlift. I'm using lighter weight, so a normal deadlift isn't gonna be super efficient. And remember, we're working a little bit more for stability in my eyes. So bringing one foot on the floor, one leg behind, we'll kick it back for four, three, two, one. Pulling back up for four, three, two, and one. You kind of get the point now, right? All right, last one for good measure, just an overhead press. So bringing that weight into your racked position, we'll turn to the side so you can see. We'll press it up for four, three, two, and one, pulling the ribs down, making sure your glutes are fired, and bringing it back down, just so we can see form. Also, just a heads up, I have form videos for each and every one of these if you want a little bit more detail. So keep in mind, you could quite literally choose any exercises here. It's really just going to come down to the time under tension and the tempo that you're choosing for them. Okay, jumping into fast twitch. So when I think fast twitch, I actually think of two different things. We can talk strength and we can talk more speed. So if you wanna train your fast twitch muscle fibers through strength training, it's gonna be a lot more hypertrophy focused. So higher weight, lower rep, a lot more rest time. So obviously you could take that exact same routine that I just did and just change up the weight, change up the reps, change up the rest. But instead I wanna talk about the other way that you can train fast twitch muscle fibers. Plyometrics, agility training, interval training. Let's break down some examples. All right, I'm gonna give you one example per category. We'll start with plyometrics. We're gonna do a squat jump into a heel click. Yes. <laughs> All right, so starting in our squat stance, we've got feet underneath the shoulders, slight turn out on the toes. We're gonna squat it down on the way up, click the heels together. Land, click, land, click, land, click. I said one option, but I'll give you just another example. If you're looking for less impact, med ball slams are another great option if you have access to them and you're able to, you know, throw shit around. <laughs> Agility training. This is something you see with sports players a lot with like the ladder on the ground. And a really simple drill is a little side to side step. So we're gonna start at one side of our imaginary ladder and we're gonna step out together, out together, out together, out together, out together, and then back the other way. There is 
dozens of different ladder drills, another fun one. I guess I'm doing more than one example for everything now. You can go in and out, out. There's like the, what's the one where you go like the in, out, out, in, like that. I don't really work with athletes, so I don't do a lot of ladder drills. So a lot of this has escaped my memory, but you get the idea. All right, and then finally, interval training. So this is things like Tabata, HIT. I know I've talked about it before, but a lot of HIT workouts that you see on the internet are not true HIT. Personally, I don't really care because if they get people up and moving, I don't know. I'm like, that's not the hill that I wanna die on. So if you're doing any type of interval training, you simply wanna think of a work period as hard as possible and then a rest period. So max effort to zero effort. That's what you want there. So you're getting these intervals. <laughs> and if you wanna do true HIT, my favorite option is sprinting. All right, so I hope that that was helpful. If you can take one thing away from this video, I want you to remember that it's not so much about your exercise selection. It's not so much about finding this one magical exercise that is gonna cure all of your problems. It's more about manipulating things like your rest time, like your weight, like your tempo, and using that to influence the specific adaptation that you are looking for. Any questions as always, leave them down below, and I will see you all in the next one.